just uh, that uh, Tulku Dogur Buche was mainly giving on Tibetan language because most of the elders were Tibetan. Now today we have also uh, some group who don't understand Tibetan. So I would request Buche to uh, deliver in English because most of the young Tibetan uh, know English. So our main purpose to you know be listen to the teaching by uh, all the elders here. So before that, I'd like to introduce you with uh, uh, Rinpoche. This is my first time meeting with Dolgo uh, uh, Chir Sangbala. And uh, yesterday I attended his teaching, and uh, this is very important. I don't know. I think I was going there. Uh, and uh, I felt that I really don't have to introduce him uh, because introduction is just a formalities. But most important, when you listen to that person, what he's talking there. So I felt that I don't have to introduce him. Just you can feel what he is speaking there. So just uh, his, I like to introduce his name. He's Dolbot uh, Tulku, and his name is uh, Shira Sambola. So uh, not taking further more time, I'll just leave the floor to our Rinpoche to give the topic on the very important topic, the mental health. This is the time now in the modern time we are really facing a kind of you know, challenge because the modern life is very complicated. So we really feel this uh, problem increasing every, every year. So this right topic that uh, is right you know, uh, Rinpoche, that person who is going to speak. So I leave the topic to do it. Can you please take the floor? Tering <laughs> ตะกอกกับกอกกับอยู่ตื้อตะนี่อินจิชางเนี่ยเจตะตอสตอสังเกจิเชชาวปะทินเดเรอินนาตะทริงกิงเงงอซะดิพายุเจอันนี้กับเ
nowadays many uh, knows about the dharma and intellectually knows many things information are there but what is really problem is we are not able to put in uh, to, from where to start and uh, really how to uh, put in the practical you know whatever we have knowledge and also how to you know what are the limitation that these are not very clear even if you have a lot of knowledge in the, so the impractical application is really problem. So Rimuchila is going to give a very paid kind of uh, right instruction so that it will be very used practical in your life. Mm -hmm. And also when we talk about uh, mental health, as a monk we go immediately kind of very high view. So high, very uh, uh, pra practical high uh, meditations. But sometimes, you know, it's very difficult to to understand as a common people because they need a lot of background information. So sometimes the, the methods are very, uh, how to say, extending your sky, but you can't catch. And then other things nowadays in a lot of writers, they, they, they wrote about meditations and some I, I can I'm able to read, but therefore I feel they have been changed so much. So you know, they w actually a lot of writers, they want to talk some new things. They don't want to repeat same things. But this kind of technique, I believe it has to base on some experience which pass through uh, teacher to student from long centuries. So that kind of, uh, how to say, lineage or the fitting instructions are very important. It's kind of not a research result right on the paper, but it passed to oral by oral development. Yeah. So that those methods are very important. And here I'm not going to talk only those who are Buddhist. So I'm trying to talk for more general method. So therefore first, in, in Buddha, the first time he taught Dharma Chakra Sutra for normal truth, when he talked about truth of uh, path, then he taught uh, eightfold path of normal truth. And there, these eight are mm -hmm. Right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right content, concentrations. So these are, some are very specific for the uh, monk or let's say Buddhist. So for me, it's not really for everyone. So I'm not trying to uh, I'm not Karsa. Uh, I'm not complaining to Buddha, of course not, but I'm just making notes that this is especially for the uh, Buddhist people. When you talk right view, it comes for noble truth. So that's why it, it, I feel that I, it, I can't cover for all general peoples. So that's why here I kind of uh, collect uh, different kind of uh, eight uh, paths, which I call regular path with the eight branches. So these eight branches are laughing, playing, tour, empathy, positive outlook. Uh, Acceptance. Acceptance, contentment, meditation of resting. So this, dang aso bhagya thole shiva ina kapa dang, semo seva dang, trocham dang, samishe dang, thagnang dang, melen dang, chokshe ngalsu koms. Di che di, ta michi ki samkam ki chaden la ya peye la ani di che di ke chambu ngarang mane di thong do. So I found for the common people, these eight are very important to being healthy for, uh, mentally and also physically. So normally, I forgot.
So these are this young Takpi Pakpi Lam Yan La Keche. The name at full path of the normal ones. So that uh, Buddha Shakyamuni he taught here in Saranat in uh, Dharma Chakra Sutra. So these are the these eight. Some of them, some of those, very specific for the Buddhist people. So here I want to, uh, I have to share something mental health that you can use for everyone. So therefore, the next one. So that I kind of chok chok them A contents like summary. I s summarize these uh, eight branches. So therefore, I don't have time today for to speak all of them, but some part I want to uh, share with you, uh, and you have to uh, please you be seriously, and we have to do some exercise together. Can you understand my English? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir. So, that thing about the laughing, say the laughing, the la. So there we have a few uh, steps how to laugh. But uh, the first is kind of greeting laughing. To diminish the uh, concept, to different the actual yes. concept. Through the laughing, you can decrease your thought. Negative. Rebellion. So we, we have two kind of thought. And then the point here, let me speak first in Tibet. I, I feel that I uh, taught something. I share something. Then I'll go to English. Gwemu Kermundi so first, here, most important point when we do laughing exercise, you, you shouldn't think that, oh, what they are thinking, what they are uh, thinking to me. So you, you shouldn't think so much. You just uh, be yourself, then you, you should laugh. The second important thing is we have to, here, we are taking chance. When you laugh so much, you know, then there automatically your concept decrease. There is a moment that you are laughing, but there is no any thought in your mind. So that is the that mental level you have to recognize, you have to be there, and you have to continue that kind of mental level. And that is the best vitamin or drugs to heal your depressed and the stress, stress and depressed. Okay. Now we try a little bit. I hope you 
<laughs> you, uh, you, you follow me seriously and don't look at, don't think so much. Then, the firstly, we must look at face to face and you handshake and you <laughs> must laugh, okay? So you make it, uh, you, each one, and you can do like, you can do like, here you can laugh, hello, you can laugh, and then you can turn, also laugh, and if you like, <laughs> okay? So, so now we, I demon demonstrate with Keshe Lan, then now you can laugh. Please, can you do one more? Please handshake and look at uh, eyes to eyes and laugh. <laughs> okay. So the second. Please, you know, you do this exercise and take very seriously. It just don't think this is too funny and it's not so <laughs> important method. Just be serious and really it helps you. Now you can look it. Now you can see your body, maybe a lot of pills are moving and the blood circulation is moving and that is the benefit. We don't need some benefit that immediately change your life, but while you love, you feel much kind of refreshed. So that's the one point. The second method I would like to share, just sit there, without reason, just love <laughs> and love. <laughs> And then let get so tired, you know, some, some of you, I think, uh, your name, excuse me, you, Didi, like, I, I feel like he's kind of, okay, this is enough. We have to be until that, you know, okay, now I love, I'm tired. <laughs> so then be there and don't look immediately what they are thinking, but be in that moment of the peace or free from thought, and just be there. You don't have to meditate. Uh, you don't have to sit in meditation posture. So just be there and relax. And observe the, uh, the body uh, sensations slowly. So that's the one kind of method. It's very powerful method to, to heal your mental uh, negative emotions, and also physically, okay? Now be seat your seat and just laugh without reason. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.
see some people laughing without sound. <laughs> Not just make it sound, you know. The sound is the, the most important that you can bring out your intention or thought. Okay, one more. Please be, look at your left, left, look at on your left, and then try to laugh. <laughs> yourself and the close eyes and feel the sensation of your blood and mental wave and be av aware. Don't hold your breath, just be relaxed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Tati, so, uh, Chen number Subo Kanga Carso, the Chuck, the Tang, Chuser, the Courtier, the Chuk, the Bissoda, the Duella, you're not sort of Lapa Jan Luna. Sort of Kayam in there, Miss Sum City. Do you have any, uh, sen do you feel any sensation that your blood circulations? Okay. So, um, sometimes we forget laughing. We are so busy, we are so busy with the study, doing a lot of things. But if you don't laugh for a week, and that means you have certain kind of problem, so you must uh, know that you are not laughing so much. So you must laugh, and laughing and yawning are very good uh, natural healing. So normally we don't yawn because uh, in some culture it's not so polite. So when we hold so much stress like here, and our body comes like that, like this, but then body helps to relax us. Then body makes you yawn. <sighs> then just after that, it it makes you so relaxed. So when you uh, have this, uh, when the yawning comes, then you must yawn. Of course, not in the public. It depends on area where you are. 
but in generally in when you are in alone yourself then you must yawn this is very good help so now this is one part that yawning so we do now we should yawn just fake you just open few seconds i'm sure it will come so much because we are so tired you just do like then it will come okay we start now just yawn yourself and when it stretch comes you stretch freely nobody is looking to you so we <laughs> must do it so first you yawn until you come tear uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> tear, tear comes tear comes okay start now please be yourself and yawn okay <sighs> Just open your mouth and it comes. <laughs> oh. Pa yanga phaksa se ndi phache chembure. Gom kyam na nyam len che na ghar che na yin ti pe kale yore ta te le pa ghar ni phep shu ta ya yon che a la Mi chu su teng ge do O la so Mikchu su teng so La pa si chang la Reven la la su Oh yeah So who who has tea? Oh very good So and tell that you must really you know you must yawn because tear when you yawn it comes and that's very good sign that if you don't yawn a lot of things are holding inside it's not releasing so you must yawn so it's very good help what i did it then as i told you before i'm not going to uh, um, talk all this at uh, branches but the laughing is very important now i taught you um, no taught my share you a few steps but one very important step i like to share therefore <coughs> uh, we have to do again together please don't send all this uh, in facebook video please and i wish you don't don't uh, how to say sex video the first just be yourself and then normally when we have depressed we hold our shoulder inside but then take it back then you take a breath inhale fall exhale then again fall and feel the sensation and make a leg then after that a chala dileche delisha then ukchile tangne up nang le then then Oh, it's in the chair. I think I'm going to lay 
So this is, uh, it's not just kind of exercise. I took this uh, one exercise that uh, from the um, Tumus practice. So just one piece. It's really helpful to release uh, the stress and uh, the um, also in the text it's described that to release upper wind so that means we hold here so much and the, here this exercise the main point when you make half it's not like half you know you must make sound from your throat, your throat. then like ha you have to <coughs> throw like something. So if you make om, can you make it om? What do you feel? Okay, say it. Om. Om. What do you feel? It sound keeps in. It it don't kind of bring out. But now you please say ha with from the throat. Ha. So what do you feel? It's really bringing out, isn't it? So these are the old techniques. Those Mahasiddhas, they really experienced it from long time, and then they share with us. So now it's our uh, luck that we can use. OK, now stand up, we do together. <coughs> Not like this, straight. And don't be like very stiff, just relax. Relax. Okay. Inside. Inside. Exhale, go down. Inhale. your eyes, please close your eyes, stand there and just relax and be yourself. Relax your face, relax your shoulder, relax your hand, relax your thigh, knees and feet. Just observe the Focus on your own body. Relax your fingers. Relax your toes. Just relax.
Okay, thank you. Please have a seat. <coughs> And I forgot, I like to share one thing. When you, when you practice laughing practice and you tell yourself, don't laugh. If you want to laugh, then you tell, don't laugh, don't laugh. And then it comes laughing. But the mind is like very, um, very hard. Sometimes it doesn't, don't listen to us when we tell them, to laugh and then, uh, <laughs> but you must tell them, um, don't, laugh. don't laugh. So if I tell <laughs> then he's laughing. If I tell laugh, then no. So that's uh, how it is. <coughs> and the, uh, the second part is playing, you know, um, playing, uh, I just want to share short my uh, experience. When I came from my village, uh, from Nepal Himalaya, I uh, went to South India. I was uh, uh, age of nine, eight. Then I don't know any sport with the local people, local children. I, I can't play anything. Then, you know, they are also bigger than me, so always they uh, whenever there is something wrong, they always make reason because of me. So that's why I couldn't play it. So I didn't play for, uh, I don't have much sport. Then I got so much ill, especially breath, breathing problems. And then, <clears throat> of course, all the doctor says that I need exercise. But I don't know how to play football. I was in football playground, I hit the ball, but my feet didn't hit the ball, but there is some stone, so uh, I have a wound, still I have that. Since that, I stopped football. <laughs> so then, when I was 18 years, then I, uh, I uh, joined the uh, Tumu practice. So after, after a while, I feel so much relaxed. I don't know because of the tumor, because I don't have uh, awareness. But after a while, I thought how I healed, how I become better health. I was thinking, and then I realized because of the tumor practice, tumor, I didn't get uh, the wist, uh, kind of wisdom in my mind, but physically I uh, developed it. So before, you know, I, now I can turn like that. Before I can't do it. My shoulder was like that. I have to do like that. So that's why in monastery all my classmates, they call Larkin. So all <laughs> monks, they call me. Yes. So now I'm not Larkin. <laughs> so, so that's why the playing is so important. That as you know, I'm not going to talk so much. And the third uh, tour, here, what I want to say, you know, we have a saying that Kotem mato la matya, pama mato mi mato se pechi. Kotem yoro, go mato sa thong yo maris. So, so, pama mato mi thong yo maris. I we don't think the, you know, the door, you can, uh, <coughs> you, you can see the behind there, you know. And it is pama mato. Pama mato mi mato. Uh, if you don't see the planet, then you don't see the, uh, the people. The, yeah. Anyway, so the, uh, when you do tour, what I say normally, tour is like uh, big books. There is a culture chapter, religious chapters, and politics chapter, so many things. So you must read, you should go outside. And you know, here I'm a Buddhist monk, so before I learn uh, the Buddhist teaching is so important. I learn from my teacher and I learn from texts, but I really don't know uh, 
the teaching is so important with the, uh, within the society? I don't know. So since I came out of monastery and I travel, I meet different people, then I appreciate more for Buddhist, uh, the Buddhist teachings. So at a certain point, I saw so much uh, uh, culture things are not really necessary. But some I found more, uh, I appreciate more than before. So therefore, you must travel. And if you want to be open mind, then one of the way you must travel. If you stay only universities and your uh, uh, hostels and office, then you, you just see bus and taxi or something, and then your colleague, that's it. But if you travel different place, you get new idea, you know <coughs> different information. So that's the main point I put here. So for myself, I become much kind of open-minded uh, 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 while I went different places. And the fourth, empathy. Come and check me. So uh, the fourth is empathy. The empathy uh, is we use in in Tibetan samshi. The empathy or understanding normally it's very common word noun no. word common uh, common word word yes. Understanding is noun or word? Noun. Noun. Words. Mode, understanding, yeah. yes. So understanding we use very commonly. But, you know, here I want to, what kind of understanding we need to be happy yourself? So that is to, when we talk something bad about other religions, and other uh, uh, politics uh, and other uh, cultures, you must first you reflect. If somebody tells bad things, your own religious, for me, like somebody talks bad things about Buddhas or Buddhist teachings, how do you feel? And this is the base that I'm talking about empathy. So when you understand that feeling, it's so hurting to you then how you can do same things to others. <laughs> when you reflect that feeling, you kind of shy to do that. You kind of afraid. You don't have to think what is good karma, what is bad karma, but you, as a, you, we are human beings that we feel like we shrimp or afraid to talk those things. So that's why, that's why we, I'm talking about that kind of understanding. And the last, last thing, the fifth um, uh, positive outlook, I want to share one history, and that's the, my end word. The positive thinking, you know, in, in the Tantrayanas or Vajrayana, they always talk to visualize yourself as a deities. Visualize your environment is like pure lamp. So why? Why we should think that? Because this is purpose that to decrease your negative appearance, to develop po positive psychology. That's the main point. So here I want to share one joke. The two people went to party, <coughs> and they dress up so very beautiful dress, and they went, and then the two birds fly on on them. And they put something, you know, so they <laughs> put on soldier. And then one, number A, he said, I'm going party and everybody will look at me and they think it's so, I'm wearing so dirty clothes and they smell so things. So he thought so many negative thoughts and he said, oh, oh dear friend, I don't want to go party because it's so embarrassing. My, the bird destroyed my dress. So he left. And the, the number B, he said, thanks God, you didn't make wing for the cow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Can you imagine if you have wing for the cow, what happens? So this is... I have been loved by Modi. Yes. <laughs> so one thing here, the two people, what they change, situation is same. Everything is same, but only different mental. They have different mind, different uh, psychologies. Then three hours, they have different life. One is past three hours by set, oh, I couldn't join party, all kind of sadness, they threw uh, the, that kind of uh, sadness. The other one so happy. So that's the time and situation doesn't change, but only if you change positive outlook, then that is the part. So here, this is, I, I told as a jokes, but this is based on tantric view also. So you can take as a very serious point and also just small jokes that you can reflect in your mind. So please be, if you want to be happy, less stress and be positive in positive psychology. Be in positive psychology. Thank you. We really enjoy this uh, time, and especially this, uh, like medicine, we are now taking this in this class. And I really, uh, from our on behalf of all the attendees, I really thanks uh, Rinpochela to give all very important instruction, very valuable, you know, things which we can also take with our hearts, and also we can share with other those who are not, because since we all are going to be connected with the people who have problems. So this uh, message, you know, the teaching will be very well for self and for others. So now we have uh, some uh, few minutes more to get some question answer. What? Two or Oh, this. Look. Now there's no time. Sorry, I'm. Uh, uh, yeah. So we ran out of time. So if you are interested, next time please uh, be connected with Tulgur uh, Mucha for more kind of you know, knowledge, wisdom. Thank you. So on behalf uh, so of CCTM, uh, I'd like to offer this one.